Sam Armand Diaz here with another video astro blog question and answer, this time about transiting Saturn to the moon. Now, this is the type of transit that many astrologers, scary astrologers, will say things like, this is a very bad transit, you should put your affairs in order, this is terrible. But, to tell you the truth, Saturn hits your moon in hard aspect every seven, eight years anyway, although a conjunction's a little bit bigger deal because it is the 30-year cycle that's ending and beginning. But you're kind of used to Saturn on the moon. It happens fairly frequently. Now, the moon, on the other hand, you know, there's a little something going on there because the moon is a very sensitive part in the chart. The moon is associated with the emotions. I think it's the point where consciousness and the body kind of had their point of intersection. We learn a lot about consciousness and the body at that point. And the body, after all, is vulnerable. The body is vulnerable, and there's a vulnerability associated with the moon that, uh, let's say, the sun doesn't necessarily feel that, but the, the moon definitely has that vulnerability. There's a learning process, a sort of mental process that goes on with the moon, but it's an emotional type of learning. It's that, oh, I don't like to go there because I had a bad experience there, and I like to go see this person because I had a good experience with that person. It's that kind of very basic emotional, it's not really rational learning that goes on with the moon. And the moon is, the moon is your comfort zone because of the association with the body, and then outwards, what other things do you associate with? For example, early on, family, and family becomes sort of like the comfort zone. And how many of us think of our families as our comfort zone, even when they're not very comforting families, but we still somehow have that association with them because it's sort of our early origins. But it could go back further into other Cancerian things. It could be the clan, it could be your country, it could be your ethnicity, whatever. And there's that association of the moon is, it's where you feel you belong, where you connect. Now Saturn, Saturn's the sort of father time figure, and father time with his sickle is not too far away from death with his sickle, and Saturn indeed has to do with limitation and separation, it has to do with that sort of hard dust to dust type of reality that can uh, sometimes infect us. It's a sort of painting the world in shades of gray that's not such a not such a ball to have around, especially on your comfort zone. So Saturn to the moon, you know, externally astrologers will tell you, oh well you might have to deal with your family, you might have to care for an aging parent, you might have to care for your children, you might have to do home repairs, you might have to you know, do some other thing like that. You might have to go on a diet. It's a very good time for that, too. You know, Saturn constricting, you know, it's, it's, it's a fairly good time to work on your body, do exercise programs and stuff like that. Or internally, they'll say, well, Saturn to the moon is a very depressing time. You're going to feel very depressed. You're not going to feel much energy and so on. Well, any of those things could happen, but I'm not putting any money on anything like that. But those things happen, but they're there to bring your attention to the basic meaning of the transit. It's not, not the other way around. It's not all about that. Those things are there, but they're there so that you'll pay attention to the basic meaning. And the basic meaning is, indeed, that your comfort zone is shrinking. The things that you've relied upon to feel okay, the things that you've relied upon to feel comfortable and to sort of get through your day, you know, within a range of things, it's shrinking, it's constricting. And so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Many times what we decide to do is to actually retreat. We decide to go with the constriction. And you'll see that when people are threatened, they become more patriotic. They become more about their ethnicity. They become more about their family. They, they sort of go backwards and hold on tight to what they know from way back when. That's a strategy. But it's kind of like pushing you back into the womb. And it's like, all right, it's kind of tight in here, but at least it's familiar. It's one strategy. On the other hand, what we can do with Saturn to the moon is to sort of push our way through the constrictions. To say, okay, look, I don't feel comfortable about things. I feel vulnerable. You know, maybe you feel vulnerable in terms of your body. Maybe you feel, you know, you, you're mortal after all. Or maybe you're afraid you're going to get sick. Or maybe there's something a little bit wrong or you're getting a little bit old. Or, you know, you know I'm assuming this is going to be happening in Scorpio. You could be very worried about finances. You know, or it could be, it could be any number of things that are making your comfort zone less comfortable. But you say, okay, look, I've got a, I've got a purpose here. I, there's a reason why I'm here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I'm going to follow through and be who I have to be, although I'm scared, although I don't feel so comfortable with it, although I'm vulnerable. 
And I, I feel more vulnerable than I really am. But I'm vulnerable. At the end of the day, you got to admit you're pretty vulnerable. And what happens if you do that is your comfort zone will shatter, but it'll reestablish itself in a larger sphere. That is, you'll be comfortable with more. Your comfort zone will not be as tight as it was. It certainly won't be as tight as Saturn was trying to make it, but it'll be even more roomy than it was before. And perhaps, perhaps you could even learn the lesson that the walls of your comfort zone can always be expanded and pushed outwards. The walls of your comfort zone are really, well, to tell you the truth, it's Saturn. It's Saturn that pushes those walls in, but it's Saturn that builds them right back up again when he's done. And you begin to learn that those walls, they're handy, but they're not really all that real after all. So with Saturn to the moon, it gives you this opportunity to take your comfort zone apart a little and then put it back together in a wider sphere. Now the conjunction is a little bit of a special case because it's the end and the beginning of a 30-year cycle. And what I would say about the conjunction is that it's a good time to look back into the deep past and see the things that have created the emotional attitudes. What are those basic things that I've learned? You know, what are what is the area that I retreat to when I want to feel comfortable? What is the area that I'm afraid to go out into and why? Starting way back in my history, why? And, you know, particularly over the last 30 years, maybe going back 30 years ago exactly, what was happening at that time that shaped my emotional set for the next 30 years? And looking at that, you begin to see the opportunity to recognize it and then release it.